Good morning. Thanks for joining us for Local 3 News. I'm Rebecca Bartlemay, and joining me this morning is Don Fosbender, also known as Diver Don. Thank you for coming in. Yes, thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. And so we started talking about last hour. You guys had your annual harbor cleanup this past weekend. And for people who just may have missed that, how did it go? Oh, it went very well. We um, had a little late start because of the weather. There was a storm, thunderstorm, in fact, and I was really concerned that we might have to postpone the event, uh, but we didn't. Uh, we just got a little later start, and lots of volunteers came in, more than I really expected. Awesome, and so it was basically a community effort from people from the city and just community members in general, right? Exactly, a lot of um, local volunteers came out to help uh, on the surface, a lot of local divers came out. We had divers from Minneapolis, all throughout the Midwest, Indiana, and so forth. Um, the city, they provided a dumpster for us to use, they provided a tractor to get the larger tires out and things like this, and, and uh, they really got behind us, and it's a wonderful thing. I'm really thankful for the city. Yeah, that's great. And so what, um, you, most of the stuff you pulled out was tires, but there was some other stuff, correct? A lot of other things, a lot of metal things, bikes and so forth. People tend to just discard them out of sight, out of mind. There's still other things in that lake. Um, that we want to get rid of in the harbor. There's sinks and refrigerators. We were able to get a large uh, kitchen sink out this time. And, and you know, there's so many things that it will take a while. There will be a third annual, by the way, awesome. uh, underwater cleanup, so. Very cool, and so you know, we all know pollution is bad. You, you don't throw your things on the floor and the lake, but you throw them in the trash can. But what does it do to the water, you know, when, it, when you throw stuff away in the water? Well, for one thing, the, we don't see a lot of fish in the harbor because uh, as the tires deteriorate and a lot of things drain off into the lake, whether it's pesticides and, and things of this nature, um, it makes a really bad environment for uh, fish to uh, recreate. Um, we hope to clean it up and add fish uh, beds to the, to the harbor and so uh, make it a much more habitable place for them. You know? oh. Awesome, and so like you said, there will be a third annual next summer, correct? Yes, there will be a third annual cleanup. Hopefully it'll be the last one. There aren't gonna be very many tires left. Thankfully we got a lot of those, but there are still some other larger objects that uh, need to be removed from the lake. All right, sounds good. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. No, yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, and for more information, you can check out our website, upmatters.com, and tune to Local 3 News tonight at six o'clock, five o'clock central for more local news, weather, and sports.